Prime Minister's big pledge on cutting plastic waste this morning. Uh, joining us for more on this is the co-founder of A Plastic Planet, Sean Sutherland. Uh, welcome Good to you. you. And what are you making of what the Prime Minister will, will have to say later on today? We sort of know what, what's going to be outlined here in the speech, but this idea that we can leave the environment in a better state uh, in 25 years than we met it. Do you think that is achievable? Well, of course, we're delighted to have the Prime Minister embracing our campaign and urging supermarkets to create plastic free aisles, which is ultimately all that we've been driving for for the last year, which is to turn off the plastic tap by eradicating the, the use of plastic, indestructible plastic for our perishable food and drink by giving us the choice as the public. We just want choice that we can buy plastic free. And of course, we, it's, it's highly realistic that we can reverse something that we have sleepwalked into over the course of 25 years. Our issue is going to be, how can we now accelerate that pace of change? So our job at A Plastic Planet is now to help work with the government, work with industry, and work with the supermarkets on helping them create these plastic-free aisles that we now know that not only does the public want, but the government is urging industry to take action on. And how enforceable would it be, though? Because this would be a voluntary move on the part of the supermarkets. It's not something that they would be obliged to do. So we're relying on, on their goodwill. Yeah, we're relying on their goodwill, on them absolutely doing the right thing. Uh, of course, we would love to have further conversations with the government on how we can, rather than using the tax stick, of you know, tax, you know, having a plastic tax. Let's also explore ways to reward supermarkets and industry for doing the right thing. But the so let's get out of plastic-free carrot. The tax stick is quite uh, effective, though, isn't it? I mean, it's because of the 5p on plastic bags. Yes. That's the reason why it's been so effective, because we don't want to fork that money out. So we therefore make sure we have reusable bags. I think it's partly the, we don't buy the plastic It's also bag. partly the public now are aware of what we've done with our addiction to single-use plastic and we, the public, want to change. And so the, I think it's a, it's a many-faceted thing of, partly it's the charge, which made us aware of why should we change, but now actually, it's not about the 5P, it's the fact the public want to change. So if we can actually use incentives, use the tax system to incentivize supermarkets, so our idea would be, let's reward supermarkets by giving them business rates relief for every supermarket that gives us the choice through giving us a plastic-free aisle. Would you prefer that it wasn't a voluntary option, though, that of if course. they were made of course. to and have to, plastic? To be meals. honest, between us, uh, every, and everybody else watching, <laughs> yeah, there are many of the supermarkets that we've met with behind closed doors have said they would love to be legislated into this, because then they've got a reason that they can say to their shareholders, to you know, other interested parties, this is not a nice to do, it's a have to do. So, of course, I believe that in 10 years' time, we will look back, just as Theresa May is saying, we won't look back with horror. And that what have we done? How do we sleepwalk into this? We need to fast track out of it. And this is going to be a big step forward. Yes, we can all do our bit. Uh, Sean Sutherland, thank you very much for, for coming thank in. Thank you. Remember, those reusable bags at the supermarket, and you can do much more. I'm sure you always have your bags. In the I of your car. always have my bags. Because once you see that pile of plastic, you can't unsee it. You just can't. Uh, no goal for last night between Chelsea and Arsenal in the first leg of the League Cup semi-final, but new technology VAR was used and was the star of the show, frankly. Also, England have a new name in their test squad. I'll tell you who